Hey guys, what's up? And yes, you did read that title right. I have, somehow, me with my tiny channel and uh, mischievous hands, have gotten a hold of AMD's unreleased processor. Yes, I did use air quotes, because I'm going to explain exactly what I mean by unreleased. It is true, this processor was not released for, like, on its own. You cannot go to a store or go on Amazon and purchase this processor. Because it is... The Ryzen 3 2300X. Um, I'll just, I'll, <sighs> my cameras aren't good enough for you to read that. Um, one sec, I'll just bring it up and show you. Yes, so this is real, the Ryzen 3 2300X. Now, some of you already know what this is and are like, oh, you lied to me. Well, the, the truth is, the only way you can get this processor is to purchase it in a pre-built system, meaning that this processor, to get it in a system, is like minimum 500 bucks. This is a quad-core, four-core, four-thread, no hyper-threading or AMD equivalent of whatever that is. Uh, there is a 2500X, but I actually could not find that on its own. This, to get on its own, you have to buy from somebody who purchased the pre-built. And I used my knowledge of back alley deals to find someone who purchased the pre-built, and I was able to buy this. And they even included the heat sink that came with it. Uh, often I find that, uh, I don't know what company, but they're using this Cooler Master heat sink. Um, cause I've seen, anywhere I've seen it has this heat sink on it, but that's not the point. We have a Ryzen 3 2300X and I want to test it to see, can we have it in a system? Cause I don't think I've, I've even seen a, a mainstream channel do this. Um, well for obvious reasons, they have their 3900X to deal with, but, uh, we've got a 2300X. So we're going to take our 2700X out of this system because since I gave away my last one, this is my only, uh, AMD AM4 board. Uh, my X470, so hopefully it'll work. It is second gen, just like 2700X. Hopefully we don't need some, like, BIOS revision or anything to make it work. Because don't forget, they only released this pre-built system, so it might only work with pre-built systems. Hopefully that's not the case. Uh, let's find out right now. So let's uh, take this off. I would time-lapse it and everything, but I my choice in music is horrible. So I'm just going to, uh, I would snap my fingers, but again, my editing is just so bad. And with 30 FPS, it's actually really hard. Whatever. You don't. You guys don't care. So I'm going to come back when I have it installed in the system. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I don't have it installed. I'll actually just do the installation with you guys. And I wish I was recording because you'll see that I left my computer in this position when I took out the processor. Some of you are already assume, assuming where this is going, judging by the fact I have it in my hand. So me being the smart human being that I am and claim to be all the time... I forgot that Ryzen processors are installed differently than Intel processors. On an Intel processor, uninstalling it like that, maybe, uh, actually no, that probably wouldn't work either. I don't know why I thought this would work. I opened the latch with it like this, and the CPU just straight up fell out onto the floor. Well, onto the desk. And uh, now I'm just trying to get this demo goop off, which I might just give up doing, uh, so I could rest it on the table. I'll just rest it on the napkin, because I don't have, like, plastic. So, me being smart, I hope I don't see any bent pins, per se, but it did land on the pin side. So, I might have just broken my 2700X by being a complete idiot and just opening it up like that. But I'm going to install it, and I wasn't recording and I'm mad. Ugh, that would have been so... I Mm, I shouldn't have stopped recording. I should have just left it on. Uh, I'm going to install this while recording so that uh, in case it happens again. You know what? I should be smart about this. I really should. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be smart. So I'm going to put my GPU in. I'm going to be smart. We're just going to do this one together, okay? All right. In what has been my by far worst building experience, by, by my own error admittedly, I have successfully installed this processor. If it boots, this will be a video. If not, this will go in the video that I'm going to make about the process that was my worst build ever. But that's not the point. Let's just try to turn it on. I'm so worried.
I mean, the power supply turns on. Does it even boot? We've got spin. We've got graphics card. There's no, there's no way this boots. We this CPU was so broken. I mean, it is turned on, but I don't think we're gonna get display by means of broken everything. It's connected to the display. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. No way. We got... The bio screen came up for a split second. No way. I know you guys can't really see this, but no way. Oh, wow, we're in Windows. Oh, this isn't connect we haven't connected to the keyboard. I'm spamming F2 on the keyboard to get into BIOS. I didn't even connect. There's no way this worked. Okay, we have like one minute left on recording. Oh, my God. Guys, wait. So, oh, man. You guys just wait to see this second video. If you're wondering why I'm so excited, it's because this was I broke the CPU completely, and then I managed to fix it. If performance, Ryzen three twenty three hundred X quad core processor, base speed three point five gigahertz, running at four gigahertz right now, and our Vega sixty four. Oh, man. Oh, I so I'm gonna make these separate videos because I don't want one super long video showing both me destroying and then me fixing my CPU. Oh wow! So this is gonna be the end of this video of just me installing and verifying that it works. I'm gonna bring the camera around in a sec, just show you guys uh, what I see on my screen. But stay tuned tomorrow after this video's up. I will upload a second video. And it's going to be called My Worst Experience. And I broke and fixed the CPU. Oh, man. And I, oh, I cannot believe this worked. Wow. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed. Uh, let me just show you guys the screen. And then I'm going to end the video. Because I'm running out of room with my SD card. And I'm just going to make this a quick video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys love seeing the, uh, the secret processor. <sighs> I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.